What's up? Welcome back to Ringworm. Oh my gosh, it's a great day. Not only is it gorgeous out right now, but today is the start of party week. My best friend uh, T and I, we pack up our tents, tons of great food, and just head out into the woods. Camp, play guitar, do whatever seems appropriate or inappropriate at the time. And then over the years, it's kind of grown. We've been started inviting people. Sometimes we'd end up with a party of 20 or 30 people during the day. Some people would camp for a few days. Some would just come out for the day. You never know. It's basically chaos for a whole week. But since I've been living out here in the woods, we've uh, moved party week to Ringworm. This will be the third year doing it out here. So I think uh, T's down in the parking area. I gotta take the four-wheeler down, pick him up, bring all this crap up here. I don't know if he's, I think he's gonna camp a couple nights, maybe sleep on the sky deck a couple nights, maybe stay in the deer castle a couple nights. I have no idea. I think Sarah will be out here day after tomorrow. Definitely gonna have to get the hot tub filled up in the next couple days. Haven't used that in, I think it was party week two years ago was the last time we used it. And as you guys know, that's just a horse trough. We uh, light a fire underneath, get it up to temperature, and then sit in it like big blobs of stew meat. Also hoping to do a bunch of shooting. Brought my uh, cowboy gun out here. We've got some uh, explosives that need to be blown up. <laughs> I think he's bringing out his base too and his amp. So you never know, you just don't know what'll happen. By the way, as soon as party week's over, I'm back at the cabin. I only need uh, maybe three or four days to mill up all those cedar logs to make siding, and then the windows are going in, the house wraps going on, everything. That'll happen really fast. So it's gonna be closed in maybe a week, week and a half after the party weekends. Kind of excited for that too. Gosh, it's just, just excited about everything, you know? You know what week it is? <laughs> Bert, Bert, uh, Bert, uh, Purdy, Purdy week. It's the only thing I look forward to all year. <laughs> this is the only thing. The only thing. Everything else in life is a big turd. <laughs> Had to make a quick stop at the building site out here for Tito to look around, make sure it's still perfect. And while we're out here, these are the pre-birthday cake, birthday cake. They'll do. Oh, they're so good. Might be able to leave the or leave the stumps. Might be able to do something cool with all three of those. Yeah, make a little deck there or something. Okay. You should have another lemon bar. I don't want to spoil my appetite for more lemon bars. No, that's a good point. Well, Looks like a, it's a pretty good, good selection you got there. Nice. You got some meats. You get oh, look at this thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's uh, going to be a pretty sweet movie theater, dude. Oh, theater. do we have a screen? Yeah. <gasps> right here. No way. <laughs> dude, what is this? Bluetooth speaker. Oh, that's what you're going to use for the movie? One of them. Man, they sound great. Do they really? Is it two of the same thing? Yeah. But you got to use some of that good-ass coffee you like, that oh, I like. Nice. Take a stupendomos. Whoa, what is that? It's a uh, Japanese A5. Dude, I've never seen that much marbled fat before. Yeah. That is crazy. That's seriously, that's 60 to 70% fat yeah. marbled. It'll make your teeth squeak. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got some nice salamis. Yeah, that's the finest. Look how marbled that salami is. I know. It's, there's actually more meat in the salami than there is the steak. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say A5 is the salami of... I mean, that's, that is what they say. Salami of the cow. <laughs> Lord have mercy, this is going to be a nice week. Yeah. We should just eat them right now, you know? Let's not tell Sarah about it. I'll delete the file on my camera. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much the... Best steaks you can buy. Yeah, it looks it looks that way. And then we're gonna try to cook something in this every single day. Good morning, good sir. Good morning. Ooh, you got a good drip going. Filling it. Woo! Like the chances of just melting that thing right off there are so high, it's fantastic. You know, I probably shouldn't be holding this in case it dripped down on my hand. Okay, so I don't really see you moving to set it down or anything. Mm. Give it a little squirt. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. By the way, when we went to bed last night, I looked up the steak that he bought, and it is apparently the best steak in the world. I I don't know any of the ratings for steak or anything, but it's Japanese A5 Wagyu. And apparently, yeah, you, you, nowhere in the world can you get better steak. So we're trying to figure out how uh, how exactly we're going to cook it. Probably do it tomorrow night. Thinking might have to do uh, charcoal in the Dutch oven. In the Dutch yes. oven and then put a pan on top and we could actually cook it right on the table like one bite at a time. But apparently it's like eating butter, which, you know, we're both really into. I mean, you eat, well, just like you'd eat butter, you know, like a, a tablespoon yeah, a at, a at a time. Yeah, a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But the one thing I got to have with, if we're going to do that steak, we got to have wild mushrooms. So just went over to check on my puffball farm over here. Fortunately, it needs a couple days. I only have this patch here and they're not quite big enough. Thinking if you're eating that quality of a steak, definitely need wild mushrooms and they should probably be cooked in bacon fat. Hey, you watch it there, buddy. Don't dry your towel. Now we're talking. I have this uh, memory from last year, this exact thing. You were sitting right over there where the torch is, eating extra floppy bacon. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we best save this grease for mushroom cooking, huh? Dude, I'm super excited about the movie theater. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be incredible. This is the perfect theater too, isn't it? Yeah. Like such a nice, nice size and it's going to figure out how to hang the projector and how to hang the screeniola. <laughs> That's, it works. Look at that thing. So at very least we need a board to set it on and then we got to figure out how to, man, you know, I could almost just right there. -ish. Oh, by the way, I, I just happen to have this sitting around. Did this work for the projector? Oh, is that that? Did that fall from the tree the other night? I found it. We it was sitting in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it just seemed like an appropriate thing for a projector. But you don't have to use it if you don't want. If you don't think it's like an exact fit for for the projector. Huh. I don't know. It's kind of rough. <laughs> You're kind of rough. Oh, that was still. Haha! -ha, you <laughs> fell for my trap. <laughs> All right. How's that? Throw that bad boy up there and see what happens. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh -oh. And we can actually screw something in here so it doesn't go back further. Brilliant. Just put, what size screw do you think? Two and a half, three inches wood screw? Yep. Got unlimited power. 85% of unlimited. Now what do you do? Uh, I turn it on. Dang, that's a big lens in that sucker. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. All right, what? what a crap shoot. You know, you leave it to this guy to put up a movie theater in your middle of the woodsness. You could take it down and look if you want. That's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, you get you gotta flip this one too. You got too many oh, cords here. <laughs> there we go. Now it's all right. What a dumbass. What a dumb. Oh. oh. So still, it's a little bit bright out here, huh? Well, we weren't able to use our fancy shelf, but uh, out in the woods girl. watching the new ringworm yeah, video. Yeah, let's cut it off before I think about it That's anymore. That's so creepy. And then of course, so of course. Creepy. Since I make all the lumber with the chainsaw, Dude, that's the bow it's not thing all sounds perfectly great. the same size, the same thickness. Now we just have to let it get dark. Dude! Yep. Other than horrible programming we got on, this is rad. 170 watts. No, 200 watts. Wow, that's a lot. That it's taken to get the cabin to this state. Dude, I don't mind seeing my videos when I'm editing them, but watching it like this is cringeworthy. Dude. Oh, woof. 
trying to get the water tower topped up for uh, showers and such. That's the lovely noise is the water pump. Hey, while it's pumping, let's flip this over. Oh, look who's, look who's here from last year. Jeez, that actually startled me. <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> You guys all remember how this works. It's just a horse trough on cinder blocks and you light a fire until it gets hot. It looks like over the winter these got a little unsteady. Instead of using swamp water like we always used to, we're going to do uh, lake water because it's a lot cleaner. Doesn't seem to want to stop drizzling, but that's fine. We're going to do some pork steaks and a uh, little bit of sparrow grass. That's all we could find at the moment. Heat that up, grab some showers, and go down and try out the movie theater. Theater. I'm sorry, theater, correct. I always get that wrong. Meat, asparagus, and nothing to drink, nothing else. That's it. <laughs> It reeks. <laughs> I think that's your upper lip. Yep. We've been talking about this movie theater thing out here since maybe the first week or month. Eh, maybe the first couple months that I got this place and moved out here. So it's been, you know, two and a half years. And we keep both saying, oh, I'll get the projector, I'll get it, no, I'll get it. And he just showed up with it this time. There's something about being in the middle of the woods and just doing things that aren't normally associated with being in the middle of the wilderness. I mean, this is hardly wilderness anymore with all the weird stuff I've built out here. I mean, <laughs> look at this beautiful shower, for instance. But this is going to be sweet. I'm going to get clean. Had a great pork steak, as always. I've never met anybody that can cook a pork steak better, better than that guy can. It's nice and cool. It's amazing that you can finally put on some heavier clothes, a nice thick hoodie, and be a little bit chilly sometimes. It feels so good after a long summer of sweating. You know what we forgot to get? Jiffy Pop? Yep. So instead we're having coffee. <laughs> it's, it's basically the same thing when you watch a movie. It's either a cup of what? Black. Black coffee. I, oh, I was trying to get some and you were rushing me. Yeah, it was because they were kicking us out of the store. <laughs> they, well, they had all the lights turned out. Did you notice that part? Nope. <laughs> that was focused. Be right here if you need me for anything. Do you think of all the pieces that have to be put together to make this work? It's kind of unbelievable. You got the Jackery battery running to the projector. The battery's also charging your phone. Your char your phone is USB to the projector. And then there's a cord from the projector to the Bose speaker up front. It's so a, lo a lot of pieces. It's a lot of hullabaloo. High five. Oh, we holy crap, we almost hit. This is insane. <laughs> I'm absolutely surprised at how good that picture is. Yeah. It's super comfy too. Big Sleeping time. bag and a little bit of rain in the background. And... 60. Okay, yeah, it's at 60. So we got two or three more movies in it. Some nice bows on top of a nice t-shirt rug. I mean, some people just have it all. Okay, somebody mis miscalculated, and I guess that somebody's probably me. I thought this was 100 gallons. I just put in 50, and it's a quarter full. <laughs> Got to drive the buckets out of here on a four-wheeler, put them in my trailer, hook the trailer up to the car, go to the lake, fill the buckets, and then reverse all that to get them here. Perfect. <laughs> so when you're out here naked showering, 
she's over there keeping a close eye on you. Oh man, that is super freaky standing up there. <laughs> Sarah will be very proud. That girl loves Halloween. I love Halloween, but she's a nutball. Let the party begin! Ruby! And oh my goodness! Yeah! Hey. Hi, Hi, you Ruby. too! Oh goodness! I have so much shit. Good. Yep. It's probably going to be like two trips. We need Mostly because of you. We need me? Oh yeah. Because oh, half yeah. of this is yours. You ready, Rube Tube? Your, fav your favorite drive in the world. I like how you have just your foot in the cup holder. It's nice. <laughs> Last load of water. Hopefully this fills it up. Oh, you can't do this now because the lid won't fit on. Okay. All right, back off. All right. Fire tomorrow. Oh, wait. Let's not forget the Guardian the pub wench. Is it gifts time? Sure. You, yeah, I'm ready for it to be this. gifts time. Okay. The only, so we can get some of them on camera. There are several that are not appropriate for my regular viewing <laughs> audience. So let's get those out of the way right now. Decided since it's still sprinkling, it's best to do it in the cabin. Why not, right? And in amongst all the presents, we've got the new heater for this place. We're going to have to tear into that just to have a look at it. Oh my god, is that a cake? Yeah, I suggest Jesus we skip over Christ. all this garbage and go right to the big oh white box. Oh my god, you guys, it's like Christmas. What did yeah, you do? It uh, it's, it's an accident. It's <laughs> Christmas. Oh, we could uh, look at this. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, oh my god, no it's a way. giant donut. Is that a Krispy Kreme? It's just a giant donut. <laughs> I'm going to need the energy to open gifts and watch you guys open gifts, so why don't you slice that bad boy up? It does look like you chose the right nice knife, rather. Dude, that's incredible. Yeah. Do we have napkins or anything? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's called, walking around right there. It's called <laughs> denim. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I should have waited. Pretend right. I waited. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday, Happy everyone. Happy birthday. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm surprised you planned that far ahead. I'd make a great serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> I've always thought that. I really think that I'm really good at standing in one place for Chick, a long do time. Do you hear how uncomfortable that laugh was? <laughs> First time I went up here, and they were like, where are you going? And I was telling them about it, and they are like, don't get murdered. They were like, the whole time they're just making jokes, like, oh yeah, is that where you dig the hole for you? Or like, just like, everything I said, like, yeah. okay, well, when he murders you, we'll be sure to, can I have Ruby? <laughs> I mean, it's a reasonable concern. Just some dude living in the woods, and they call it ringworm. Yeah, but you're my boyfriend. It's not like you're a random dude that was yeah, like, but hey, I come up to I mean, most, I ringworm? most people that get murdered are by people that are close to them. Yeah, what are you That's saying? That serial killers true. can't have girlfriends? Now, we have to decide also whose wrapping is the best. Because Taryn used just the box, but he does have a higher quality duct tape. Hmm. Mine are a lower quality, but there is a crepe paper on them. Hey! No I like the packing. Funyuns! Yeah, I found that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice packing. No, those are real. You can eat them. I will. Yes, no pack. way! Yeah. Is that another lantern? <gasps> Whoa, that one's red. Where did you find it? I find my things. <laughs> Wow. It has the circle wick for the cabin. Circle wick. Yep. The reflector and everything. That sounds fancy. Dude, like, so nice brighter. Yeah. Where did you find that? At places. Okay, that's what I expected. This is for you. It's the best. It's the best gift ever given. Yeah. I've heard I've heard rumor of this. Fish on it. <laughs> Vintage <laughs> fish platter. Yeah, sorry. Wow. <laughs> It's a tag off of it. <laughs> Wait, it's from Spain. It is? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it is. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's that's what he told me about is the look on the fish's face. Wait. <laughs> that's the Tito's gift that I've is, ever seen. That is amazing. I can't believe it's actually from Spain. <laughs> yeah, it's a vintage Spanish. Uh, they're known for their fish platter. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I could not resist that That's thing. <laughs> I love it and I will treasure it forever. Yeah. And it's going on, on a thing. shelf. 
Mm -hmm. I know exactly where. <laughs> Have that until the day you die, which you hope is the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the worst fish ever. <laughs> You're the worst. That's how you pick jokes. It. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Biggest. Like Crying? Biggest grill and spatula I've ever seen. Oh, right on. And we can sharpen the edges of it. Yeah, we make pack at each on other. That, on the grill, like silver dog. Heck pancakes. yeah, man. Well, we always got oh, these yeah, old rusty ones, and you try to flip a burger or something, and they don't work. I don't know. Well, it, you know, you know, you know, there it is. Oh, I was wondering if you actually, uh, I did. <gasps> you getting bougie out here? I'm telling you what. Dude, they're they're both both. Bowl? Wolf. Yeah. Bluetooth. Dude, yeah. Brad, Brad, man. I guess you could tell the camera that we started like how many months ago? Four <clears throat> months ago or something, choosing a song each morning that we like <clears throat> research and listen to and whatever. It started out being like eighties hair hair yeah. bands. And then we ran out of those and then we went to something else and now it's like an album, one track a day where you like wake up, read all about it, listen to it why it's great and everything but i've been doing it with my other headphones and now i can really get the full experience <clears throat> thanks dude yeah that's amazing that's uh same brand as mine but the latest technology i like the newer technology yeah. i always thought yours was a little old yeah thanks i have no idea why i got you this it's just the weirdest pipe oh I, it's a pipe it's the weirdest <gasps> pipe i ever saw <laughs> oh my god i brought weed there you go. Say that? You mean it's legal in the state of Michigan. You mean so. marijuana. Yeah. I brought marijuana. Yeah, oh, remember we're in Michigan, so it's totally fine these days. Fresh, honey. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, dude. It's so bizarre, and it's got like butt cheeks on the bottom, so you could set you it on set a it. shelf. Oh, fun! I saw it, and I was like, "That's the weirdest thing I ever saw." I would love to see Sarah smoking that. <laughs> that one's very special. Whoa! See? Whoa. Pocket sized nacho cheese. <laughs> Pocket lab cheese. They're like individual nacho dippers. Oh my god, you can just keep them in your car. You keep them in your pocket. I, I knew he <laughs> I knew he'd so tear touching. up on this. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Let's try one. <laughs> you gonna dip your donut in it? Oh. Is that a good brand? A good year? Oh, that's delicious. That's a <laughs> very good year. Fun foods Plutonium. for a fun world. Well, there you go. Oh, wow. Ricos. Great tagline. That's so great. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's, so I didn't know if you wanted that's large. That's the or... uh, space telescope, Oh right? my god, it's, yeah. James Webb. Yeah, it's James Webb. I'm not going to wear it here because it's going to get ruined. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? I don't know. It's just a weird one, you know. It's one we oh know. yeah, I have not seen this one. I don't think I've ever had a Tito birthday that I haven't gotten one to twelve knives. That's a knife. Wasn't that a birthday when I got you the? Was it a six pack or a twelve pack of machetes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I could only find like two of those. I don't know yeah, what happened. I have no idea. We might have left well, them. Well, good thing you got a twelve was, pack. Yeah. yeah. Feel how weighty that is. Oh yeah, God, it's, it's such a weird blade. That's for roughing up butter when butter's co uh, <laughs> too true. cold. Yeah, good point. You rough it up. Took a hairdryer to that. Oh, thank you. It might be too small. I have no idea. I have a small oh, head because do? I don't have a lot of brains. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nope, it's working perfectly. Are you sure? It looks yep. kind of stretchy. Holy shit, that's like really nice. Well, it's to match your scarf. I brought my scarf. I saw it in there. I was like, Thank you. You're welcome. That's a lot of sweat work. Yeah, not. How no. many calories did you burn oh, making it took, this? I spent months and months just working on that. Eight hours a day, let me tell you did what. Did you get black lung? Girl pug. Oh. <laughs> Let's play whose hands where. <laughs> we had some uh, some dope dinner. We actually ate, ate in the cabin. And now it's uh, movie time. We've got some Bill Burr going on tonight. Yeah, a little bit of logistics to figure yeah, out. Yeah, it's kind of like we're gonna watch a movie. when Sarah and I are sleeping in here, all of our stuff's here, and then we have to we're rearrange to. for the projector and the movie screen. Some of us. Yeah, these two are just a real problem, out. both of them. Yeah. Everybody shut up. Yeah, Ruby, quit causing all the problems. Yeah, you get Ruby and Taryn together, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I am the snack counter. What do you want? Lemon bars? 
donut pie. <laughs> you know, some jalapeno pieces. Some candy pop popcorn Twix. I wonder how many pounds of lemon bars we have. Tito brought two feet by three feet of lemon bars. And if that wasn't <laughs> enough, Sarah, Sarah made homemade. All right, we've got our fine selection. Let's play this, play this dopeness. What were you singing? Tiny taters. <laughs> I got the tiny taters. Okay, you can stop with your hand. That's creeping me yeah, out. I know. Well, we laughed hard enough at Bill Burr that I almost threw up. Actually, did you have any times when you actually felt like when you throw up that pressure in your stomach and your you from sinuses laughing from laughing? Um, like I was laughing so hard the snot was coming down. And like when I stopped, <laughs> it felt like I just puked. I do that with all of my jokes. With all your yeah. own jokes? Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet. And it's been sprinkling all morning and we haven't eaten breakfast, so I think we're going for the birthday meal right now. Gonna do some tiny tater. Oh, God, what am I doing? And the A5 Wagyu, and uh, I'm gonna go pick some mushrooms. Make a mushroom med medley. It's a good thing we weren't able to do this meal quite yet, because my puff balls weren't quite ready. And I never did find any more. I mean, I didn't spend too much time looking, but... Oh, this is good. Good enough for a flavor. Just take the ones that are big enough worth eating. Guess we'll take these guys. That's all we got. You know, it's actually what they make. This is specifically for purple, purple taters. You know what I was just thinking when I was shopping these? Do I want to know? Tiny taters. Oh, here we go again. Had to, had to cheat and throw in some chitax. Chitaquas. No Little shallot for the shrooms. Uh oh, sounds like rain. Sounds like wind and rain. I bet that last strip right there is for you. Is that 100% fat? Fat. Yep. You know what's yeah. funny is last year when you brought these amazing steaks, I mentioned it in the video and I had to cut it out because I called it ragu. <laughs> <laughs> ragu. <laughs> so we had these that's ragu steaks sauce. and I was like, that's not right. Man, this, look at how easily that cuts. It's, it doesn't even look like a steak. It looks like, it like doesn't. that's Some not kind of meat. weird food. You know it's going to be good. It looks more like liver. Thank you. Okay. Wagyu on a paper plate, <laughs> <laughs> cut up with a with a classy Chinese buck knife. <laughs> Never been done before. <laughs> Can I scoop you some potatoes? Oh sure. Scoops the potato. Oops, oh, that works. It's hot. I made some uh, Aspen chopsticks for everyone. If you pick the short one, you have to do dishes. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh, you gotta salt it too, right? Really Afterwards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, it wiggles yeah. like, like butter and jello. Flipping yours on it. Oh, look at you. There. Cheers. 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 Ragu. Oh my god. It's just juice. Wow. Wow. It's so soft and like drips down your neck. That's intense. Yeah. You do not want to eat a whole steak of that. It's better than I expected. Yeah. It's like unbelievable. It's kind of unreal. It's not, it's not steak. No, it's different. It's like, I don't know what, but it's pretty. It's a different good. animal. Okay, Ruby, this is the best steak in the whole world, this okay? This is the best dog food that exists because it's also so, the best people food. I want you to eat it very slowly. Listen, we want you to really think about and this. And savor it, okay? This is very special. You got to eat slowly and savor. Nope. Don't just swallow it. Oh, you just swallowed it. She forgot to taste it. Well, she <laughs> she liked it, but she likes anything. She doesn't <laughs> listen very well. slightly edible. That's well, how they do it at the top end steakhouses, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They have a rusty pipe with duct tape. <laughs> Good and lightheaded. Good, that's how you know it's working. <laughs> it really gets the sizzle on, doesn't it? 
right where I'm blowing underneath here. Oh, yeah. those mushrooms. Well, I think we all had a nice nap after uh, <laughs> piling down all that fat. That was gorgeous. Now we're uh, taking turns with the new headphones, trying out some jams. What a day. Still raining on and off, but uh, that was a, just as good a day to be in the woods, too. While it's raining, we'll take a look at the heater. Those are strange letters. Yeah, those are numbers. Sets You've sets never seen numbers in real life? Wow. That's nice. Do you call it direct vent? Yes. So there's no fan, no power needed, and I paid the extra however many bucks just to get this little window so you can actually see the flames in the front. Propane for this place, propane. Oh, look at that. It does all fit right in there. I don't know where the best place is to put it, down low or up high or what. So I think the desk will go to maybe the end of the window or, yeah, somewhere around there. I like propane stuff. I just don't like wood burning. Yep. It's not very fun to constantly be chopping wood when you want to be doing other stuff. All right, good show, everyone. Just come in and turn it right on. Yep. I'm going to close this place in, put the heater in, turn it on as low as it goes, and leave it on until, like, April. We got the extra fire going now just to burn up some building scraps. Gonna, I think we decided to wait till tomorrow for the hot tub. It's best to do it in the morning anyway because it takes, like, three hours to get up to temperature. You want to be able to use it a couple times in a day. I think that's tomorrow. This part of the trails is such a disaster, all this stuff. When I first bought the property and got out here, we just cut through all this garbage just to get through and threw everything to the side. So I'm going to try to find some uh, slightly aged cedar to use underneath the hot tub. Rube. Yep. It's chilly this morning, huh? Yeah, it is chilly. I think it was like 38 when I got up at 6 or something. Little French toast, little hot tub, little bang bang. Little A5. Little A5. Oh yeah, we got another A5. We didn't, we weren't sure about. One more lunch, we can probably okay. choke it down. Sometimes A5 steaks just hide out in the cooler. They do, <laughs> they do. Me carry them fire. Ooh. Don't singe the creepy girl now. Uh, decided since we got three three fires going, we're getting a little smoked out. I need a break from the smoke, so we're gonna go shoot some holes and stuff. There's one. Here's is out there's. Yeah. We're cowboy shooting, and uh, Tito's showing us how to walk like a real man. <laughs> Somebody like watched too much Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Soggy <laughs> Is it 90? Uh, one. What? It's 100 already? Yeah, one. Almost 110. Oh my god. Nuh-uh. Uh -huh. All right, well, I guess we gotta, I'll go grab a rake. We'll pull that stuff out before we go and we'll let it. Well, it won't. Well, we don't want it to be 130. It'll take all day to cool down. Usually it's like three to four hours to heat up, although I guess we do use this more in the winter, so the water starts at, you know, somewhere in the 30s. And this probably started at maybe 50 or something. So that was quick. That was less less than two hours to get it up to 110, and I ain't sitting in 110. Okay then. Okay then. I heard a ding there. <laughs> that was a ding. And he lives. Not today. 
Still alive. Doing just fine. Got his tongue out. Screw you, buddy! And nothing. Okay, well. I think I heard all of them. Oh. Oops. Oops. Don't you have anything to say to those bottles? They're orange! Oh! How, how dare they? There it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got it! You did? Yeah. Oh, well, one for, what, 12? Not bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh, he showed me up, he hit one. You don't have to be ridiculous, it's fine. You just, you do you. We, we call that the mongoose. What? You saying I can't do it? Okay, let's see what you got. I probably can't, but you one don't need on to say each side. That. One on each side. <laughs> it's a little bit far away for these revolvers. Yeah. Oh, showed me up. Well, I prefer to move on. I guess I'm the only one that didn't hit anything. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Draw. Sarah hit it. Can you think of anything you'd rather be doing right now in the entire world? Taryn will come up with something. <laughs> cheese. Yeah. The <laughs> same say, thing, but with was, cheese bullets. Maybe <laughs> if I was someone held an ice cream cone I could lick at the same time. Yeah, that's true. Whoa. Delicious in my mouth. Okay, this one I'm gonna hit. Ready? I'm gonna hit all these. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. The tree hugger works. Yeah. There you go. Hold on. Safety first. Fourth. Okay. Ready, go. <laughs> All right. Maybe do it again tomorrow, eh? Yay, it's time for some tubbing. Fun. I'm nice and chilly. It's going to be great. Yeah, we're still getting some pretty conflicting information here. Smokey the Bear says 108 and the infrared says 99. It sure doesn't feel like 108. I think I'm going for it. Listen, it's highly frowned upon to wear clothes in the hot tub out here, but because your prying eyes are here, I'll go put something on. We got a big fat lemon bar and a gallon of water. Any other tools we need? Check one more time. Yeah, still says 99 would be all right. You just don't want it less than your body temperature. Now that says 106. Okay, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. It's probably closer to 100. Oh, it's great! Yeah! I just realized I still have a hat on. That's okay. I'm not putting my hat in. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah? Lord, have mercy on my soul. Oh, we got a little friend. Smokey. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, he's been floating around in here for a while. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. It's pretty dang good. It's so nice in the woods with the trees. Yeah. The only thing that could make this better is a slightly wet <laughs> lemon bar. First thing he said walking over here, you guys wore clothes? Gotta <laughs> turn the camera off because I ain't wearing no clothes. Oh yeah. GoPro, sensor your, uh, GoPro turn off. How's it feel? Oh, glorious. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Was it the best thing that ever happened to you? Yeah. Yep, all right. Well, 
Now that we're all smoked up, it's time for some more A5 Wagyu. Okay. I think this time with the salt and garlic and pepper and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's the very first chew into it is really hard to explain. Just the texture of it is like nothing I've ever had. Well, Wagyu makes you sleepy, so I took a nap, and turns out sleeping makes you cold so I took a hot tub and hot tubs make you tired so we're gonna go watch a movie and then call it a day and start all over tomorrow. We had to run out and pick us up some pumpkins and think we're gonna carve them tomorrow. Not sure where Tito went so uh, I'm gonna go hunt him down. I think he might be on the sky deck playing bass. Tito bought an extra pumpkin that he, wa he wants to practice some quick draw because we did a bunch of it yesterday and uh, he got a pumpkin that we can shoot at. I don't know with the 22 if it's even gonna you're even gonna know if you hit it but I want to see go go find out what he's doing see if he wants to do some quick draw shooting right now and then uh, yeah tomorrow we'll carve and then I think there's only one more day so the last day we'll get out the 3030 and the uh, Tannerite and blow up I'm gonna blow up my pumpkin my jack-o-lantern your pants on it's uh what the second time since i built this that it's been used for anything really other than scaring girls <laughs> whenever you're done here we'll shoot some holes in that pumpkin mm -hmm. we're all warmed up and loaded we got to blow up a pumpkin i don't i don't think a 22 is gonna blow up a pumpkin no uh, but we can we can poke some small pencil holes in it I can't hear anything. Yeah, that's best that way. Do they have earplugs that you could use that would stop us from hearing your voice? Huh? <laughs> we just jam a handful in your throat. Not even the ones that are on aircraft carriers would stop it. <laughs> it, it might sit right there. Oh no. Tito broke the forest. Show us how it's done, T. It's your pumpkin. Get it? it? I expected it to fully explode. Yep. It uh, made some shatterage there. Yeah. Nice exit wounds at all. Oh yeah. I'm gonna shoot a face in the pumpkin. That's how I'm carving my pumpkin this year. I see. I'm just gonna shoot the design. Okay. That's how awesome I am at shooting. Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Show us how it's done then. Okay. Shoot a face in its face. <laughs> All right, let me give this a try. Oh, you did it. How, why is it so hard to set a pumpkin on a log? <laughs> Twenty-two is great, but nine millimeter is the Lord's caliber. Hey. Got pumpkin all over the GoPro and the <laughs> tripod. Holy cow, that's not like shooting a twenty-two. It's so funny, like nine millimeter is a really small caliber, but when all you shoot is 22, it seems yeah. like a cannon. <laughs> T decided on the sky deck tonight. I don't know, man. This thing doesn't seem safe to me. That's why I'm doing it. It's like a lunatic built it. Nice, nice. 
<laughs> Couple of assholes, if you ask me. <laughs> You're kind of gonna have your own little living room up here. You know what you should you should drag up here is my uh, guitar stand. Just just because you could lean your bass up on it. Yeah. It would look pretty nice next to your chair. There you go. That's nice little candle lantern. I have to lean over to grab it. <laughs> Anybody that didn't see this thing built, I'll put a link in the description and a link right here. Just if you want to see a real a-hole trying to build something that he shouldn't be doing. I just, there's no reason for this thing. It's never really been used. I just wanted to see if I could uh, cut down these trees, top these trees at 15 feet, and then somehow by myself drag all these, uh, are they, I think one side's like nine or 10 feet and the other side's 17 feet. Make all my own lumber with the chainsaw, hook these giant boards together, drag them up here. It was, it was a real mess. I think it was like two years ago, but there are two videos on it. It was not safe. Yes, it was. Uh, my parents are probably watching, so it was very safe. If nothing else, it was a one-of-a-kind building project. Looks like a nice, nice place to spend the night for sure. There you go. That's more like it. What you got cooking, yo? Just assembling it, and I fried the shallots and butter here on the stove, and then just combining everything, and then I'm gonna move it to the fire. Is it Sarah's got her uh, Asian stew cooking in there. And Tito's making dessert of a million chicken wings. Oh, look at those. You even got some chicken on your hand. Or is that a leech? That's a slug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see what she made here. <laughs> Yeah, two. Two's good. Two. I'll okay, eat two. Right. I mean, why not? You know, I'm crazy. Right. So, I don't know if this is going too far, but I would almost call it wicked dope. <laughs> Despite not? how terrible they look, they're actually delicious. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Oh, man. Man, I got up early this morning, come up here in the man cave, turn the heat on and do some editing. It's like in the low 40s or something, so it's hard to move the fingers without the heater. And Tito's and my morning jam was... uh. I Want You by the Beatles. We've been uh, working through Abbey Road. Never been a Beatles, Beatles fan, but I've never really listened to them either. And holy crap, all of a sudden it clicked. I totally get the Beatles. <laughs> Anyways, doing some reading on uh, this album and on this song, re-listening to it, and I don't know, something in my head just clicked. So much variation, especially with some new headphones. Love McCartney's bass playing. I love that part of the song sounds like Santana, part of it sounds like Black Sabbath. It's it's pretty sweet. I really need to stop listening to stuff and reading stuff about this. Okay, promise. I'm going to get the computer out, do some editing, and you'll have nothing to watch. Then we'll have to dig up some bacon and get on with the date. Taryn's down working on his building site, his uh, cabin building site. I think he's. this is day two of clearing brush and cutting trees and stuff, so I was going to go down and grab the four-wheeler and trailer and haul some wood for him. I think he's got a fire pit going down there, but it's quicker for us just to take it up where we're hanging out because we can constantly be feeding the fire. So we'll see what he's up to. Sarah and I just uh, went on a little machete mushroom walk in the woods and Tito finished up, so I think it's time for pumpkins. It's too bad we got these small ones this year. We did, Taryn and I, for years, always try to get the biggest pumpkins possible. I remember the biggest ones we got was at uh, Downstate Uncle John Cider Mill. Did I ever tell you about that? And they had big pumpkins out there, but we went and talked to somebody like, come on, where are the big pumpkins? And she's like, oh, they're all out. It's like, no the big pumpkins and she said i know i know what you're talking about and she went and got this old guy in the bib overalls and he said you guys are the ones looking for the big pumpkins i was like yep he said come with me and we got on a golf cart and he drove us way out 
and they had their experimental lot. And he said, you can take any pump pumpkin you want. I'm not helping you lift it. So whatever you can get on the golf cart, you can buy. <laughs> and so we found one, one or two, but it was as big as Taryn and I could lift together. Wow. We plopped it on the back of the golf cart and they only charged us like 20 bucks for it or something, really? but it was huge. I guess everybody can choose their, their own weapon. You know what you're carving already? It's going to be, yeah, it's, I have an idea. Okay. And I'm not very good with ideas, so yeah, if it's just true. in there, it will probably won't come out. Okay, fair enough. We better go to the door knives, huh? Do you have, do you have a carving knife picked out? Mm -hmm. I don't think I have any skinny knives that would be good for that. I might, mm -hmm. I could use this one. I'll have to say. That's a pretty fat blade. If you ever want to get rid of that, I'll take it. I love that. Blade. You know, I really like it. I like the way it looks. I like the size of it and everything. But these little imprints fill up with rust. Just junk, like food junk or whatever. That's why I hardly ever use it. That's pretty fat, but it might work, yeah. I'm going to try this. That's what they said when I was born. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. I hate Slide you! Slide that right up your hand. <laughs> yeah, check out the Sarah's pumpkin carving knife. Actually has pumpkins on it. Wait, wait. Oh, happy <laughs> Halloween on the blade, too. That's awesome. Was that last year Taryn got that for you? Or two uh, years ago? I think it was two years ago. At least two. Gave up on the knives, huh? The modern way. Short work. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Boink. Wow. Genius. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's see what you got. Okay. What's the biggest drill bit we got. Yeah, I'll hold my hand on the other side yeah, of it. Yeah, that would be Put some pressure on it. Great idea. <laughs> That's okay. Eyes Here's aren't really centered. We all like Halloween and we like carving pumpkins, but I think Sarah wins. Do you want to show how much you win? How, why do I win? You don't. You can't even think of what Halloween has to do with your feet? No. Or your ankles? No. Still? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. What happened about? if you pull up your pant legs a little bit? Oh! Oh, jeez! I don't geez. know if you can see it with my boots. There it is. There's somebody that likes Halloween an awful lot. It's still kind of crusty, but... Still crusty, brand new. Yep. Very nice. <laughs> Three. Since it's the last night, we decided we... I'd better use the movie theater one last time. Kind of rolling around a little. Crazy drunk drivers. Got the pumpkin set up in the theater. The creepy one looking in the door over there. Is there any reason to suspect that anybody's ever made a finer movie than Fear and Loathing? None, none really? Three, all three of us agree, huh? Mm -hmm. I thought it would just be the two of us. You know, I kind of thought there was a reason that I like Sarah. It's the end of party week. Boo! Boo! We uh, watched the best movie in the world last night. Oh, we sat in the hot tub again. Just did a round of shooting. Getting serenaded by what's-his-name. And it's time to uh, erase a pumpkin or two. Oh, I've never used Tannerite before, so I don't really know what's going to happen, but... It'll probably go boom. Nice. Can you make them look at each other? <laughs> yeah, it's funny when the two on the outside are looking at the other one. There you go. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Threw a few 30-30s in my pocket. I don't know if this scope is sighted in, so might take a couple shots. Okay. Okay. Dump, dump it right back in here. Uh, 
All right. This pumpkin's for you, Dad. Whoa. Well, we wow. erased it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> wow. That's <was> great. <laughs>